Find the point of intersection of the lines given below and the plane determined by these lines. So you need to understand that in this problem, you will be finding two things, the point of intersection and the plane determined by these lines. Starting from the first section, we're going to find the point of intersection. To do that, you are going to set these values to equal to these values. So for x, you have 3t plus 1 equals s plus 4. y, you have 2t plus 2 equals 2s plus 4. And for z, you have 2t plus 1 equals negative 3s plus 3. Now you are going to solve for one of the variables. Let's solve for s since there's only one term for s. So it'll be 3t plus 1 equals s plus 4. Subtract 4 on both sides. You get s equals 3t plus 1 minus 4, which then you have s equals 3t minus 3. Now that you have s, okay, you are going to substitute this value for the s right here. So you have 2t plus 2 equals 2 times s, which is 3t minus 3 plus 4, which will give you 2t plus 2 equals 6t minus 6 plus 4. Minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2, so you get 6t minus 2 equals 2t plus 2. Okay, equals, you're going to add 2 on both sides and subtract 2t on both sides. So you will be given 4 equals 4t. Isolate t, you get t equals 1. Now, now that you have t, you're going to put t, substitute t for t over here. So you get s equals 3 times 1 minus 3, which is 3 minus 3, so you get s equals 0. Now that you have your t values and your s values, you are going to write them right here. s equals 0, t equals 0, and now we can erase all of this. Okay, next step, to find the point of intersection, you just have to plug these, oh, t equals 1, t equals 1, s equals 0. To find the point of intersection, you're just going to plug these values into either line 1 or line 2. Okay, so since line 2 has the s variable, you're just going to substitute the s into here. So you have x equals 0 plus 4 is 4. y equals 2 times 0 plus 4. 2 times 0 times anything is 0, so you have 4. And z equals 3. Okay, these will be the point of intersection of these two lines. So let's write points P will be 4, 4, and 3. Okay, now you have solved the first section of this question. Time for the second section, which is to find the plane determined by these lines. And when you see plane, you know that you need to use the equation of a plane because you'll be, you need to solve for the plane. And the intersection of the plane is a times x minus x sub zero plus b times y minus y sub 0 plus c times z minus c sub 0 equals 0. Okay, now in order to find the equation of a plane, you need a vector and a point. So right now you have two lines. What you want to do is to make the ve a vector out of these two lines. And in order to do that, it would be the cross product of both of their vectors. So let's call vector for line 1a and vector for line 2b. 
For A, in order to make vectors out of these, you just have to get the T terms and then put i, j, k after them. So it will be 3i plus 2j plus 2k. For B, same thing, but do it with the S term. So you do 1i plus 2j minus 3k. So these are your two vectors. Now you need to find the cross products of these two vectors. So you will have a cross B, which equals to, right, your i, j, and k. Oops, these are too close to each other. Let me fix that. Okay. i, j, k. Now put the values 3, 2, 2, 1, 2, and negative 3. Okay. And now the i part will be 2, 2, 2, negative 3, minus j, which will be 3, 2, 1, negative 3, plus k, which is 3, 2, 1, 2. All right, now find the determinant. So 3 times 2 is negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, minus 2 times 2 is 4 minus j negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 minus 2 times 1 is 2 plus k 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2 times 1 is 2 so you will have negative 6 minus 4 negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10 negative 10i minus 9 minus 2 is negative 11 and since there's a negative here as well negative and a negative is a positive so you get positive 11 j plus 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 is 4 and there's a positive here so it's plus 4k all right now this is the vector for sine 1 and 2 Okay, now let's write the vector right here. Let's say vector v equals negative 10i plus 11j plus 4k. And if you are wondering why v, well, v is just a random letter. You could do vector a, vector b, vector n, anything. Okay, now. Plugging it into the equation of a plane. Let me rewrite the equation of a plane. You would put these vector terms, negative 10, 11, and 4, into the a, b, and c. And then the points, 4, 4, 3, into x sub 0, y sub 0, z sub 0. So now we just plug and chug minus 4 plus 11 times y minus 4 plus 4 times 3 my oh no z minus 3 z minus 3 equals 0 and okay now you want to distribute so you get 10x plus 40 because negative 10 times negative 4 is positive 40 plus 11y minus 44 plus 4z minus 12 equals zero, okay? Now you're gonna put all of the variable terms into one side and non-variables into the other side. So you get negative 10x plus 11y plus 4z, okay? Now you can cross these out. You're left with a positive 40, negative 44, and negative 12, which gives you negative 16. So if you were going to put it here, it would be negative 16 equals 0. But you want to isolate the variables. So you're going to add 16 on both sides, which you will have negative 10x plus 11y plus 4z equals positive 16. I forgot to write 16 over here, which you will then have a vector.